Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we're going to be doing a uh, scraped painting on a medium-sized canvas. The colors, if you can't see them, we've got black, and then silver, and then gold. And so what we're going to do is we're going to mix, finish mixing these up. I'm sorry I didn't finish, I just, you know, just needed to give them a good little stir and then we'll kind of get into it. And what we're actually going to do is, I'm going to turn this. I don't know if you can still see it or not. I'm going to try to adjust. Yeah, you should be able to see it. Okay. So, I'm going to scrape this way, downward, uh, as opposed to upward. But what we're going to do is, we're going to start with silver, and then we're going to move our way into to gold, and then black. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and move the black to the side. I'm going to give the silver a nice little stir. All right, and then the gold, we'll just give it a little stir too, just in case. Cool. All right, so we're gonna start with our silver, and we actually need silver across pretty much all of the canvas. However, if there's some gaps, I'm okay with the white parts of the canvas showing. So we're gonna put some paint on our little uh, trowel here and we're going to start over on this end we're going to go up to cover the edge and then we're going to pull that paint down get a nice straight line you can see it kind of gave me an edge here i think it's just because the paint it's the paint rubbing off of, of this the trowel from previous paintings that's okay all right so let's get some more Silver paint on here. And go up to cover the edge. And then we go down and we just tilt it towards us to kind of capture the paint and pull it forward. And let me get that scraping look almost. Which it may be a little hard for you guys to see. You can kind of see it right there, these little lines. <clears throat> uh, they're they're going to form as we, as we go. So we're going to put more silver on here so that we can fill our canvas with the silver. We'll go up. Again, I'm really trying to extend this silver paint that's on here. Really get some good coverage with it. All right, looks like we got something on here from the paint. All right. Last kind of layers going here. I think we have enough paint on here to cover rest of the painting so we'll try to even out how much paint we have on here all right so it doesn't want to go that way so let's see if we can kind of pull the paint out side to side like um applying drywall all right now we'll just smooth 
it out. And if there's any gaps in the canvas, then we're going to go ahead and leave them. The canvas is moving all over on me. All right. So we're good. We've got most of it covered in silver paint. So now we'll move on to the gold. Hope you can still see everything. Pretty good. Okay. Load this bad boy up with gold paint. And start in the corner, go up a little bit to cover the edge. And then we're going to pull it forward. Nice. Got a nice uh, kind of creaminess to it. I love mixing white and gold because it makes like a cream color. And it just looks awesome. All right, same thing. Just slowly pull it through. And it's nice because the gold really filled that gap with the silver mist. It's fun by me. And then we'll just do a layer where it's just whatever leftover paint we had. I'm going to go over it one more time, pick up any loose paint, and run it down this layer here. Alright, we'll kind of move on to the next area. And I'm actually going to do the end first. I'm going to have to go back over that. So we'll go up and then we'll tilt it. Nice. Okay. I think we've got a nice coat on here. We've got a few little specks in there. We just dried pieces of paint. We'll fish them out of there real quick and we'll move on to the black. All right. So here is the final color. Hopefully we can get it to kind of pull the gold out from underneath it. Um, so that we can kind of see all of the layers. So we'll go up just to cover the end. Alright, and then we'll pull it back nice and easy. All right, we've got it tapering off. Now, the only problem is, is there is a little white from the canvas. <clears throat> um, I do want to kind of cover that up just because I don't, you know, I don't want the raw canvas to come through.
Okay. So we've got some nice lines happening here. I hate to do this, but I need to really fill in those gaps. So it made a little pool of paint. See if I can. You rest this on it and pull that through. Ooh, all right. Just barely set it on top of the paint and pulling it through. And it's giving some nice, dark, solid lines. Uh, I'm okay with that. All right, let's move on. <clears throat> all right, so we'll put some more black on here. So that we can pull it through the rest of the painting, or at least the next section. Start low, go up, and then just pull that paint through. All right, so there's a small kind of ring of paint. Let's see if I can uh, smooth it out. Okay, so we're actually getting some like nice dark sections, but some like breakup in it. I, I don't know, I kind of like it. So let's put uh, the next section on here. Let's see what we can do with it. So we're going to overlap a little bit. And we're just going to pull through. All right. So we've got a lot of white there. And my instinct wants to cover that up because it doesn't match the rest of the painting. However, I kind of think I'm going to leave it just because it really gives a character almost like it's worn out and it just kind of it kind of gives it a pop that the rest of the piece doesn't really have so let's see I'll pull a little bit of that over it and just kind of tie it in a little bit more I'm surprised okay there we go there we go now we've got that tied in let's see if we can can I get this tied in a little bit? Uh, so this little white spot I don't like actually, just cause it doesn't match. There we go. Now we're getting it. Now we're cooking with gas. All right. Can you guys still see everything? Cool, cool. Okay, so we've got these white spots. I'm going to leave that because it gives it a little bit of pop. And then we'll move on to our final sections here. Pull this black right through it. Let's see what we can do. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go a little higher. We're just going to do a solid black run. Oh, that is beautiful. That's about as, as good as I could hope. I mean, I don't think I could have asked for any more variation in that. And then we'll, we'll kind of run a little bit of the paint back the other way just to kind of High in the edge here. Cool. I'm going to leave that. I like that. All right, so here's the final stretch. We're just going to we're just going to do a little, little bit of paint because it's getting a little dark over here. So we're going to go up there and we're going to cover that edge. I'm just going to pull it through, but I'm kind of hoping that it pulls off a little bit early. 
Okay, it gives us a little bit of a little bit of open space. I kind of like that, but we're gonna we're gonna pull it. Ooh, that distortion though. Oh yeah, that thing is awesome. All right, we're not gonna touch it because I'm pretty pretty excited about it actually. And uh, anytime I go to try to fix a painting, I tend to ruin it. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna rotate this bad boy. And if you haven't figured out, I love black and gold and white and silver, or black and white and gold. Gold, black, and silver. Just black and gold just looks good. So with silver or white, it just really, just really looks really nice. Okay, enough of my rambling. Here we go, guys. This, ah, this is the final piece. I'm gonna stand back as far as I can to try to get the painting here. I'm just gonna take a snapshot. Another one, just in case it didn't take it. All right, guys. Let's take a look at what we've done. All right, so we've got the black. We've got the black and the gold and the silver. And I love this little patch right here of silver. Awesome. And then we've got these nice crisp lines here. Look at that. Look at how thin those lines are going all the way down. Looks freaking sweet. And then we've got like these distortion Almost like, uh, almost like elongated drops or something. I don't know. Like they're being torn. And I flipping love those. So, this is the final piece, guys. Um, if I can get out of the light. There it is. I don't know. I, uh, I'm really excited about it. Really proud of it. And I think it's very cool. And, uh, yeah. So, I will do more in the future, obviously. Kind of, kind of my thing. And uh, that's it. Guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.